think, uh, hold on. I think it's uh, about time I take you to meet someone. Come with me. I don't have any quarters. This is a problem. I think we're gonna have to wait for them to bring me quarters. What's up? Derby dash. All right, finally here. You guys ready to meet someone that's like kind of special to me? One sec. What's up, guys? This is John. I, uh, I told you about him. I'm a friend. <laughs> He's my best friend, pretty much, <laughs> in, uh, in Bowling Green. And we have decided that, one, we're going to meet in his dorm room today, and it's super spacious. As you can tell, I, I can hit one wall, and then basically it is. It's pretty cool. Another wall. So for all you people that are about to live in a dorm or have lived in a dorm, this is pretty, Basic. pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. Got the necessities, got some racks, and a floor. I'll show you some necessities here in one second. Cut in, hanging climbing gear, and hangboard. <laughs> So what is the plan this summer? What is the plan? In what your mind, what plan? do you want to do? Because we're going into another country that I've never been inside. Never been to Canada. I've never been to over half these states that we're going to. Uh, but I don't know. I just want to experience things I've never experienced before. And have you ever traveled this long? This long. Another plus about dorm room living. People in the room over there. You can probably hear them. It's pretty awesome. They're playing Super Smash Bros. If he, if he wasn't here and we weren't filming this video, I'd be playing Super Smash Bros. right now. <laughs> yeah, he's got a really productive life. I, I do other things too. <laughs> I understand. Oh, I should be swearing. That's a no-no. My mom might watch this video. Don't, don't, I gotta make mom proud. What do I want to get out of this trip? I th I've thought about it a few times, but I've never really come up with an answer. Because there's not one specific thing I want to do. You know, like there's a, with this trip going from it could be six, eight weeks, ten weeks, depending on how we feel and what's going to be happening in our lives. I'll always just be filming and taking photos every day, and especially climbing. West, going to Hands California, on that rock. Oh, so excited. Why document? Why are we? I've asked this question to myself. Why are we going to document? I would just say, just the reason why I would document. I don't know if this is the same answer you, as yours, but I, would, I feel like you have the same mindset on this. But to show others that. It's not just a, I guess a dream, you know, like, it can be reality, doing what you want to do. This is just example one of one of the many things I want to do in my life. Everyone I talk to about this trip, they're like, oh, how are you doing this? Like, that's just like, I've always dreamed about doing this, but never was able to Probably do like it. like a big road trip. Yeah, and yeah. I, I was talking to someone who was like 60 a few months ago. <laughs> And they were talking about how they always dreamed about going to California because I told them about this trip. And I was like, why haven't you gone? He's like, oh, I just haven't gotten the time to do it and the money. 
but anything is possible if you're willing to take the risk and willing to t sacrifice what you need to sacrifice. You know, I'm working as I'm going through college to be able to pay for this road trip. It's not, it's not, it's not cheap. It's no. definitely not cheap, especially with all the climbing gear, camera gear, gas, repairs on the car, camping, bon camping, food. You know, the food's about half of it. Gosh. Right. Yeah, I mean, you have to be willing to sacrifice to do anything. That sacrifice. I think it's like the hardest thing for people to grasp is that doing awesome things like that the planning started four months ago and we leave in eight weeks this was like a nugget of an idea back in last november something i was like i was all for doing i mentioned it to him he got on board still not quite 100 percent positive he's going to be going you think that you keep on saying that to me but i'm going he just has a whole new <laughs> experience about <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, like he goes on all these trips around the world. Always, uh, he's done Please. much more exploring than I have Please. ever. He always brings it up to people about like, oh, about the trip. Like, oh, you should go. And everyone's like, yeah, let's do it. Come on, yeah, this sounds fun. And then when it comes to buying a plane ticket or saving the money, like, ah, uh, sorry, bro, can't, can't do afford it. it. Oh, I can't take time off work. Yeah. Uh, you know, because the entire time that I was planning my entire life, planning for that bit of the future to travel, they weren't. They were buying new J's and an Xbox and the new Call of Duty and, you know, a new purse and getting their nails done more or uh, buying a new car that they don't need to be affording. You know, they were always getting all this other stuff when I was, you know, still driving my same old Kia and wearing the same shoes and not owning a TV and... You know, just sacrifices that you make individually so I could do this. And then I can never trust the fact that when someone says it's a cool idea that they want to do it, that they actually will come through. Because let's be honest, people like to talk. People like to say that it sounds cool. People like to say they want to do it because it does sound cool and they probably do want to do it. But the thing is, they don't want to do it bad enough. I'm starting to believe he actually does. It's a lot. <laughs> you make me cry. So what people don't see, and when you guys start seeing videos from the road trip and stuff, what you don't see is that we've been talking about this, planning this, researching this, working and saving, planning our finances around this trip for the last four, five months-ish, and we're going to continue for the next two months. That's huge. The best laid plans usually have some great deal of preparation. Fact. <laughs> Mind blown. It's the simple things, man. Mm -hmm. You can't, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a rock climbing hangboard right here. This is to train. I have one in my house, you've probably seen it. Again, preparation. Uh, that's for that's sure gonna definitely fall. Definitely not in. <laughs> Let's put that on there. <laughs> Dorm life. <laughs> These guys playing Super Mario <laughs> So what else should we talk about? How do we end it? Dude, this are just going to be Do the Carlton. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. Well, that's pretty much a wrap. I can't stand being in this tiny dorm anymore, so I'm gonna leave him to living here. This is my home. Let's go, guys. Thank you guys for watching video number eight. I was gonna get out of the dorm and I realized I wanna finish editing with this guy. Uh, you guys, if you wanna keep following along, all that stuff down below, the whole like smashing and clicking and, and doing all that crazy stuff, we're gonna start talking about more of our passions, maybe start filming some more of our passions. I wanna see what your guys' passions are. See you guys in my next video. Peace. Oh, uh -huh.